lovelies welcome back to another video how are you all doing hope you all are doing great as always i want to thank almighty god for another bright and beautiful day over here i have my fresh ginger root guys ignore my voice i'm having serious uh, cough and flu so right now i'm going to cut my ginger into my dice form for for easy blending in today's video i'll be sharing with you how to mix ginger and glove to get rid of badness alopecia breakage shedding to condition your hair and your scalp fight any scalp irritation like dandruff like inchiness moisturize your hair thickens your hair and above all promote thicker and healthy hair growth faster guys i have said videos about using ginger and glove and this method I'm about to show you with you all right now is extremely amazing and also effective so after I cut my ginger I will go in with 40 grams of my glove you can use ginger powder and also glove powder if you don't want to make this whole process then today i'll be using 50 ml of my extra virgin olive oil when it comes to the oil any one of your choice just apply when i tried this method the first time i did not film it so when i make the first recipe i was so overwhelmed on using extra virgin olive oil to make this one guys it's amazing it keeps my hair moisturized for days minimize shedding get rid of split end and also conditions the air for healthy air growth so i urge you all when you are blending your ingredients like so allow it to blend completely into a smooth paste so after i finish blending right now we are going to open it up and again guys forgive my camera when i film this video it was acting up so right now it has sky kind of issue in picking the recipe well so after blending look at how it's looking so right now i will go in with my palm i will transfer my mixture into my palm like so so when it comes to this recipe please guys pay attention if you are making yours right now here is our mixture so what i'm going to tell you all to do you will use the lowest of your eat i use the lowest of my eat like the lowest of them all they are all my flame and i will see low the lowest of i will see low the flame guys if i'm mistaken because i want to cook this uh ingredient on a very low heat because i will tell you the reason why you have to cook on a very low heat so right now i'm going to stir like so when you are cooking make sure you continue to stir don't allow it to get burnt okay because you don't want to kill the nutrient why i say cook on a very low heat because there is no specific amount in cooking this particular recipe which i will show you all the reason why so after i stir for some minutes i will go in now with my coconut oil i will use 20 grams of my coconut oil then i will go in with my shea butter i will apply 30 grams of my shea butter the right now after i had my shea butter i will go in with my cacao butter i will add 30 grams of my cacao butter then i'm going to stir everything together you can also add any butter of your shorts you can also add your b was to eat okay Okay. if you want to um, increase the butter you can add as many butter of your choice you are good to go I love to keep this recipe extremely simple okay nothing that uh, difficult or complicated so that in case you want to make yours as well 
it should not be too hard for you to make because awful time i do get comment like jenny i can't get all the ingredients so this one is extremely simple to make so right now as you can see all the butter and the oils are burned together so i will take it out of my flame as you can see i've offed my flame then i will not allow it to cool down because you don't want it to solidify why in this state so why is tea hot i will go in now with this my transparent bowl then after i go with my bowl i will go in with my filter guys it's extremely hot i will not advise you to put your hand in straining the mixture then i will add my cheese cloth to it because i don't want any uh, residue to go into the oils so right now i'm going to transfer my mixture into my cheese cloth into my filter like so because it's extremely Hot. so what i'm going to do right now i am going to press out the oil from it i don't put my hand i don't want it to get burnt as you can see the oil is straining out already without me even doing much work so just like so the oil is going to strain and i mean the mixture of it so to get extra oil like as many as possible i will urge you all to press really really well as you can see me doing so lovelies after i strain here is the amount i got you need to have a lot of patience to be able to strain so right now over here i have my castor oil i will go in with one tablespoon of my castor oil then over here i have my peppermint essential oil i'm going to apply 10 drops of my meat essential oil i mean peppermint essential oil then over here i have my curry essential oil i'm going to add 10 drop as well so the last but not the least i will go in with my vitamin e oils i will add two capsules of my vitamin e oils so right now i'm going to stir everything together Together to allow the oils to burn together so now the first way to make this recipe i will go in with my clean and sterilized jar as you can see on the screen then i will transfer to a mat of my mixture into my jar like so then i'm going to cover it up any of the methods you prefer you are good to go you can either make the two method i will share with you in this video or only one method you are good to go so i'm going to keep inside the fridge to allow it to solidify as you can see now to the second method i love both method guys so here is the second method i'm going to cover it up like so as you can see on the screen right now then i will put inside the freezer for up to 20 minutes why i'm covering it i don't want any water to go into it to so make sure when you are putting your mixture inside the freezer cover it up for at least 20 to 30 minutes so after 30 minutes look at how my mixture is looking it has solidified but it's not completely hard don't allow it to get hard because if you allow it to get out too much you might find it difficult to be able to whisk it if you want to whisk it so here is our mixture it looks so beautiful guys oh my gosh look at it look like butter <laughs> here is butter so right now i will go in with my hand blender to just blend everything together you are going to blend until you get the perfect consistency you are going for okay guys i love this recipe a lot it's so good so suiting to the scrap and also to the end so right now i'm just whisking as you can see me doing you can use your hand blender as well to do this method you are good to go so after i blend i, I blend my gosh after i mix for some minutes i'm going to uh, turn everything together like so i will go in with my spatula to just miss 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 everything together like so because i want everything to miss completely well as you can see make sure you turn for the first time guys like that i don't like the consistency so we have to miss for the second time again so right now i will miss for the second time to get the perfect fluffy 
consistency and when you are making yours guys don't be like me use a bigger bowl to make yours so after i miss for the second time here is a perfect consistency your gear is going for look so fluffy so moisturized so smooth and we are good to go the right now i will go in with this my jar inside my nylon bag i will transfer my butter into it like so guys this step is optional because if you want it to go into your jar looking that beautiful like a professional like a, like, like a pro 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 eh? then you need this method when you are transferring it right now i will need this my jar guys make sure your jar is not wet and it's not dirty okay because you don't want to contaminate this um butter as you can tell i not add any preservative to it i only add my essence my vitamin e oil into it so right now i'm just trying transferring my butter as you can see into my my jar so lovely here is how to make the second method of this effective glove and ginger egg growth butter how do i how do you see guys it's nice so right now is the second method the first one i put inside the fridge to solidify so it has solidified completely and i love both method any one you prefer just use you are good to go so simple to make guys and it's so effective so right now how do i use this butter i use in a very multiple way as a pre pool as hot oil treatment as a moisturizer for my twist my break and also for any styling of my shirts so over here is my little baby she is five years old today is a moisturizing and also a styling Day. and i love to add this butter into our air guys i have to guess this recipe out here any how you want to call it butter or pomade can be used on both kids and adult air okay any air texture like relaxed natural on dreadlock okay you are good to go both kids and adult air from six months and above so with this butter you don't need much when it comes to applying this for made all the butter i just sprinkle some water all over our air all over my air as well then i will allow the water to damp into our air massage water into our air that will take a huge amount of my pomade or the butter anyone at all you want to use you are good to go they are put into my palm that i'm just going to apply into our air when you are applying make sure you focus or the tip of your hair and the root of your hair is extremely important because you don't want the butter to just sit on your hair without doing the magic focus really really well on the tip and also on your scalp so right now i'm just massaging the butter or the pomade into our hair as you can see look at how shiny our hair is looking like now so i'll put our air into a corn roll with this butter i don't add any other thing to it i add only the water and the butter i'm good to go so right now i'm going to pat our air like so because we're going to braid our air do some coral simple air style we are good to go there is one thing i've come to understand about how to grow your air less is more and also the air style you make it depends it determine your air growth as well just a simple extra guys you are good to go so right now i'm going to spray extra water into our air the side i just cut off then i'll put extra butter as well or extra pomade because i really want the pomade to go into every strand of our air the right now i am going to do our air a coral just as you can see me doing at the same time i want to thank you all my friends my family i want to say thank you all for your amazing love and your support your girl is so grateful god bless you all one after the other and if you are new yeah, welcome my name is jenny i'm into air growth tips like this one you are watching right now if you find this video useful please give me a fat two thumbs up share subscribe is free of charge leave me a comment down below as well it's free of charge so right now i'm just braiding our hair as you can see me doing
so lovelies right now i'm the last section of our hair as you can see i'm just braiding the hair and guys when braiding your kids hair don't allow it to be too tight this cornrow she's going to rock it for up to three weeks to a month and cornrow help is also promoting healthy hair growth while our hair is in protective style i will put the butter or the pomade into our scalp every other day just sprinkle some water then massage our scalp with the made all the butter so right now i'm just putting some extra water into our airline then i'll just dab the pomade into our airline like so anywhere at all you are having issue just massage this pomade into it and don't forget to massage it's extremely important use your scalp area anywhere at all your crown area your airline just massage you are good to go and lastly i skip a ahead of her hair safe so look at her hair so beautiful and she is good to go so lovelies with this we come to the end of today's video if you find it useful make anyone and let me know your feedback if you like the butter or you like the pomade anyone at all they are both effective and thank you all for watching until i will see you in the next one remain blessed and you know what peace bye bye i love you